The White Things, also known as the White Devils and Devil Dog, are among the most historically infamous cryptids in West Virginia. In almost all sightings, the White Things are described to have dog-like features, but in different accounts, some are humanoid, some are demons, and some are even prehistoric cats. The white things roam the isolated woods and appear in many shapes and sizes. They resemble many creatures. This includes wolves, bears, cows, and even huge badgers. They are covered in long, shaggy, snow-white hair, and they often have immense jaws and fangs. It's said that they move at lightning speed, and sometimes on two legs rather than four. And other times, they seem to have too many legs. Their screams sound like a woman being attacked or murdered. But one thing is for certain, they are bloodthirsty and attack without provocation. The attacks are so real that people actually feel the beast fangs tearing into their skin. But when the attack is over, they're shocked to find nothing on their body. No marks or indication saying that they were hurt. The same thing can't be said for animals. The beasts rip up the animals in a werewolf type of way. They tear out their throats and mutilate their bodies. Then they leave the corpses without a trace of blood. In Cherokee mythology, the sudden appearance of a white wolf heralds a magic premature death. Over time, however, the white wolf became a white dog in Appalachia. When the dog shows up, it follows people home, and it just sits at a distance as though waiting for someone. The white dog does indeed wait for something. Not a friend and not a lost owner, but death. It's always seen by the person who is about to die, and the dog is always invisible to others. Once the white dog appears, the person is marked for death, and they die tragically within the few days or the few weeks. So if you're in Appalachia, pray that you don't run into the devil dog.